Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we are looking at Marvel May Fix Jean Grey from the X-Men and this is based on the 90s. Now before I get into this I just wanted to make uh, I guess a, a comparison in terms of cast against um, Marvel Legends. Now May Fix is probably considered a premium figure probably around what 85 pounds if I remember correctly around that. Whereas now, a Marvel Legends, uh, depending on what you're getting, can be around £30. So this is almost just over half of what a Marvel Legends costs. Now by that, so what I'm thinking is, is it actually worth now? Because Mayfix don't release a lot of figures pre-ordering a, um, a more premium figure and getting better quality. Because, you know... There are always QC issues with Hasbro. They're, they're not perfect. Or is it worth continuing your X-Men line through Marvel Legends? Because you get more. You get more figures throughout the year. So, um, me personally, I don't keep Mayfex. Um, I, I wanted to. I really did. But I just, I just, I'll be honest with you, I just couldn't afford it. So, um, I ended up, you know... Well, I paid for this, so I thought, well, I'll review it and sell it on. And I, I probably will continue trying to buy these and sell on, etc. And they are very nice. I do really like these. And I am a big fan of them. Um, uh, they were decent quality. I think the only one that was probably a bit of a letdown was, uh, was Cyclops. So on the back, you've got all these different poses you can do with this figure. If you want... So we're going to carefully take this out. Go. And there we go. Oh, I don't think so. I'm just going to carefully, I say carefully, try and try this. There we go. So there is it is in the box. Let's take Jean Grey carefully out. And she has this little bit of plastic. Which um, always bugs me because it is always stuck right in there. Always stuck in there. Okay, sorry. This is why I don't do things on camera like this. But I thought, hey, today, you know what? I can just take it out and just start reviewing it. Oh my goodness, that was a disaster. What am I doing? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Taking up your time when you just wanted to have a quick look at this Jean Grey. Wow. Just bring my light down there. That is an absolutely stunning green, green Jean Grey. It's because I was thinking of her green eyes there. I feel like they're green. Why are they slightly blue? If I remember rightly, jeans were green. That is a little bit of a disappointment. She has a beautiful headpiece there going on there. Just trying to get it zoom in so we can have a better look at the head. And then you get this beautiful metallic paint. Lovely X belt. It just looks very, very posh indeed. A dent in her. No, they've tried to make a butt. What they tried to do. There we go. Those look very, very cool. That is a very, very nice Jean Grey. So she has her perhaps level head. Let me just try and get her into a standing position. There we go. And then let me bring that down. Let me move my scissors and crap out of the way. So there is Jean Grey. So firstly, let's have a quick look at articulation. The head, there is lots of movement there, but because of the hair, it's hard to get that around the, the shoulder pieces. So you get a bit of difficulty there. You got some movement in the shoulder pieces, and that does move with the arm, which is good. And then the arm can go up, there's a swivel there, and there is double on. Yeah, no, there is double. There is double on the arm, which is cool. Swivel there, a little movement up left and right there. 
which is pretty cool. I do like that. There is movement in the torso, and then there is further movement on the waist. Pretty cool. Now, these legs, they just sort of can pop out, but you can get that much in terms of the splits. And then you've got a double on the leg. Lefty, righty, and upsy, and a downsy. And you also get this little toe at the end, which is pretty cool. So there is definitely lots of movement for Jean Grey, which is really good. There we go. And she does look pretty damn impressive. Pretty darn impressive, sorry. Pretty darn impressive. So, what else does she come with? Ooh. That's pretty cool. So, she comes with a growling head. Which is pretty nice. Same sort of hairstyle there, which is pretty cool. So this is when she is in battle and she is well she's ground at you, so don't mess with her. Because if she's ground at you, she's going on the Phoenix, and then we have this other head. So if she's not at work with her headpiece on, she is like this. And to complement that, she comes with da -da 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 -da. This little piece here, which is sits under there, which and I will put these on in a minute, just so I'm clear. And then she comes with these two little special effects hands, which I do like to show some telekinesis, which is pretty cool. And then she has lots of hands. So she has closed hands, open hands. Some more open hands. And they do have this little bit on here. I feel like there's these open hands are a bit strange. Oh, it's just for different poses. Anyway, let's have a look at some of those. So if you want, you can take one of these open palm hands and you can place it there. And she can have the seafood neck and the headscarf hidden down there as well and you know she could just be well she could be saluting you or she could be trying to read your mind it's jean gray who knows what she's doing but that looks very cool i do like that head sculpt it's a very very nice head sculpt pretty darn awesome so let's move on to some other stuff and some other poses I always think the good thing that comes with these Mayfex figures is the stands because now you can uh, get your Jean Grey into some some real decent poses. That probably wasn't the best idea <laughs> of uh, using her telekinesis up in the air or on display, etc. Which is pretty, pretty nice. And you can see that I've added the, the telekinetic um, hand piece um uh, i'm not sure how often she used this i'd have to go back and have a read or look at the animated show i don't think it turned up like this if that makes sense and you also get the other hand which is the open palm hand and then finally you get this beautiful head sculpt on top of there where you can uh, once again get her into some decent decent poses so, in terms of this figure, it's a really, really poseable figure. That. So you can do some really, really good stuff with it. It just works really, really nice. And if you've been collecting the other Mafex figures, you know this one's pretty decent. Which is pretty good. And I think um, we've got Storm on the way at some point, which will be pretty decent as well. So let me just show uh, her next to uh, Hasbro Jean Grey as well before we wrap up. Just bear in mind this is the animation version, but you can see a real difference in terms of the paint work on both these figures, how premium this looks compared to this. You can certainly tell the difference. I'm not going to pretend to know what products Mafex use in terms of plastic, um, but there is certainly some differences. Anyway, I thought I'd show them together because it seems like the right thing to do. 
but um i still like my hasbro um i'm not i'm not gonna like for all my my cut my um views on them and their pricing etc um i still enjoy hasbro marvel legends x-men but this is certainly gives you food for thought and i'll be honest with you if um if i had lots of money to spare these would be on my shelf too because i do like them i do enjoy them and they do look nice um sometimes i i think is the the effects the right thing i'm not sure about her effects i'm not sure what other effects you would use um but she's all right she's all right so there we go there is mayfix's jean gray uh and i forgot to say this is figure number 164 then so anyway, hope you like my figure, if you, my review. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. Make sure you look after yourself. Very important these days. And as always, embrace geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.